Sitting in her office in Frankfurt Wednesday, Democratic Representative Angie Hatton was thinking a lot about her hometown, more than 150 miles away. We started to see neighbors on roofs, neighbors hanging out of upper story windows, crying for help. Hatton's community of Whitesburg was one of many hit hard by last month's flooding that killed 39 Kentuckians, displaced thousands more, and crippled local governments. They're already cash strapped, and now they've spent every dollar they've had on emergency repair of water, roads, sewers, things like that. So Hatton says this injection of money into the region is significant. As was done for Western Kentucky after last December's tornadoes, a $200 million fund would be established for Eastern Kentucky. $115 million of that would go to the Division of Emergency Management to support cities, counties, school districts, and other public entities. Another $45 million would go to the Transportation Cabinet for bridge and road repairs. And the Department of Education would get an additional $40 million to help school districts impacted by the floods. The governor says this plan was reached after a series of nonpartisan, good faith discussions. To the people of Eastern Kentucky, I think today the legislative branch sent the same message that I've been trying to send. We're with you today. We'll be with you tomorrow, next week, and next year, no matter how long it takes. This is a testament to what everybody does when this happens, something like this happens in the state of Kentucky. You come together to make sure your friends, your neighbors, and your families are taken care of. Senate President Robert Stivers says this plan is all about achieving short-term objectives. He and the governor agree this should serve as a stopgap measure until the legislature reconvenes next January to pass more legislation to help Eastern Kentucky. Moving from an emergency to a stabilization phase in and of itself is significant, but the rebuilding here is going to be one of the most complicated we have ever seen in this country. The governor is expecting to have this piece of legislation on his desk by Friday. Meanwhile, state leaders acknowledge that damage assessment may not be done by the start of next year's regular session. In Frankfurt, Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.